Hello friends, it's The Stitches, and for today's sewing vlog, I have some Lolita bloomers for an upcoming meet. I based my pattern off of this vintage nightgown set I found on Etsy for about $7, but since I wanted them to peek out from under my skirt and I wanted them to be extra gathery, I did have to make a lot of alterations to it. My fabric is from the $1 mystery bin from my local thrift shop. I find thrift stores are a surprisingly good place to find small one or two yard bits of fabric. My main construction seams are all done on the serger. First the leg seams are sewn together. And then the crotch seam. This removes a lot of the bulk that can disturb the gathering when there's a lot of seam allowance left over from normal sewing. For my gathering, I'm just using elastic, so I start by sewing channels at the waist and the legs. The waist is easiest since all I have to do is fold it over and secure it leaving space to thread in my elastic. After the waistband is done, I create my leg channels out of some strips of scraps. I pinned this about three inches up from my lace hem that I, for some reason, forgot to film the process of. After I'm done installing the elastic, the bloomers are done. I'm very happy with how these turned out, and the process was very nostalgic of my high school Lolita days, where I spent basically every weekend sewing clothes for my wardrobe. I used to make all of my own bloomers, but back then they didn't come out quite as crisp as this pair. I hope somebody finds this useful. You can use basically any shorts pattern as the base for this. As long as you have that crotch and leg seam, you can play with the width and the length as much as you want, really. That's all for today's video. I hope everyone has a good day, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Hey guys, thank you so much for the thousand subscribers. It means the world to me. To show my appreciation, I'm doing a giveaway. So if you haven't already, please go to the official giveaway announcement on my channel or click here and leave a comment on that video telling me what the first video of mine you ever watched was. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and that's all you have to do to enter. I'll be picking the giveaway winner on the 31st, so you have until that day to enter. All right, thank you, bye.